being Rusty Reed the Turtle Man and just pursuing my dreams has been uh, a walk through life that I have thoroughly enjoyed. I've been out doing things in places, taking part in events, organizing events. Down here at the South Arkansas Turtle Farm where the move to preserve has started. All pivoting around one of the most fascinating creatures that I've found in my life. And 38 years ago, I decided to work towards the conservation of these giant turtles. I fell in love with the alligator snapping turtle and then I pursued that passion and that love all over the United States. I get to meet people from all walks of life and form relationships and make friendships with people that are, that are everlasting. Put myself in situations that I just enjoy. I love being up to my waist in, in a swamp. Uh, I've been all over the United States just pursuing this passion and forming relationship with thousands of people and hundreds of those relationships just never end. And we have walked through life together, taken part in events around the United States, out in the swamps and bayous. Uh, these relationships, they'll go on for the rest of my life. And I thoroughly love that part of being the turtle man. Forming these relationships and spending time with these people and pursuing passions and doing things that, that are just not normal to most people. And my walk of life is not normal, but there are times when you get burnt out. For 10 years, we traveled educating people about alligator snapping turtles. And when I couldn't take the road anymore, I came back home and we built the filming grounds of the Blackwater Turtle Refuge. And we're a nonprofit organization that's founded in teaching people about alligator snapping turtles. And every once in a while, I'll reach out to someone. And, and when I'm teaching these kids, uh, you'll see a lot of them aren't listening, but some of them are enthralled. And you know that out of a large group of kids, and when you're working with them, and, and adults, you'll meet someone, you'll see someone, you, you'll come across some kid that you can tell you're changing their lives. Look at Ellie, this five-year-old, and her gentle fascination with that. That was motivating for me. To see that tender touch, and, and she was glued to that, what she was doing. And here's a 93-year-old oh woman. Yeah. She came to see the large turtles at Blackwater Turtle Refuge, and when she did, she had seen something she had never seen before. And at that moment, I'm about as high as I can get. And it's re-motivating to me. Yes, there is a future. When you watch the evening news, it's easy to get depressed and see how we treat one another and wonder are you ever going to reach people's hearts towards conservation of something that's that's a beast like the alligator snapping turtle and the answer is yes when you come up on that child that is just glued to that you know her walk of life is going to be one of adventure and you know that maybe you had a part in that she'll quite probably never forget that moment and when you see that 93-year-old woman that is looking at something she's never seen before, you, you know it matters. And I can say, I love what I do.